From Tel Aviv to Chicago, on the same day those hostages were released, protesters shut down part of the Mag Mile over the war, hoping to get support from Black Friday shoppers here in Chicago. NBC 5's Patrick Fazio has more. Protesters shut down part of Michigan Avenue during Black Friday shopping. No business as usual while Israel continues to occupy Palestinian land and continues to murder and commit war crimes. The U.S. Palestinian Community Network organized the protest. It is our government, Biden and Kamala Harris and all the senators and all the Congress who are allowing this to happen. They are complicit in this genocide. The protest happened on the same day Hamas released two dozen hostages back to Israel. Israel as part of a deal to pause the war. Even with the release of these 25 individuals, there's still more than 210 who are being held hostage right now by Hamas. And this includes young children who are less than a year old. David Goldenberg with the Anti-Defamation League of the Midwest worries about the increase in hate against Jews. I will always be the first person to stand up and say no to anti-Muslim hate. What we don't see, though, is we're not seeing that widespread condemnation of anti-Semitism and this rise of anti-Semitism. He supports protests and discussions, but not hate and violence. Let's be clear about the language that's being used in these protests. It's not about Palestinian statehood. It's about violence against Jews and the elimination of the state of Israel. These protesters plan to continue demonstrating against Israel. That's why we're, we're going to continue to be out here, regardless of temporary pauses, because we don't trust Israel, and we're concerned that the bombing might, con might continue um, immediately after the four-day pause. In downtown Chicago, Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News. We will continue to monitor developments here in Chicago and in the Middle East in the Israel-Hamas war. For the latest, go to our website, NBCChicago.com. You can also download the NBC. See Chicago app and turn on push notifications.